Hello, Sam Owens here. And uh, our project today is to install the Canadian style headlights uh, on my 2017 slingshot. And, uh, we're going to show you how to install them so that you'll be able to get your own set and uh, install them yourself. Uh, we have uh, just a few parts that we have to deal with. A new cover for both sides. We're going to re remove this cover and uh, the assembly comes like this. Uh, the inner headlight is already assembled and we're going to remove this headlight from its mount and install it into this side. Install them in uh, to uh, the frame of the slingshot and then re replace the cover and uh, we'll plug it in. Just plug and play, no complications. So let's get started. Before you begin the installation, it might be a good uh, idea to test the new wiring and the headlight for operation on both sides before you begin the installation. You don't want to have to be uh, recognizing a problem uh, after you've installed your headlight. Place this here and the way this works is here's the new headlight uh, connector and this is this springs up and down this is the catch to remove you need to lift up it locks behind this little tab <clears throat> so plug her in there and go until you hear the click there and we'll do this on both sides turn the ignition on and make sure the lights all work but after the test simply lift up and pull back and you're ready to begin your installation i'm going to use a t25 uh, torque bit and remove this screw right here and uh, you're going to need something like this to get in there we just remove the rest of the way out and put to the side e40 bit or uh, screw right here that we're going to take loose and there's another one on the other end and we'll take that loose it's located down in there, so you got to have the hood open in order to, to get to it. We're doing it, so we'll finish that. Our uh, screws are all removed. This should just pull right out. And it does. There. With a 10 millimeter socket, you simply put this down there like this and loosen this bolt up and take it out and uh, then you're going to be able to remove this whole headlight assembly right here has to pull up and then out there okay we've got to squeeze this in in order to get this little bracket out see once you get it so far and you don't want to drop this so uh be careful about it and you simply squeeze on this and pull this one out kind of wiggle and get up there close okay there we go now we've got to remove this plate with these four Phillips screws after you remove the four screws uh, this is stuck in place with an adhesive, so you have to kind of pry this thing loose. So with a screwdriver, kind of break the seal. There. There's it. Coming loose. All right. Then you take that loose. That's the old bracket. And then we're going to put our mount this. So you put your plug through there. And then you're going to pop them right in like that and line the screws up. OK, 
Okay. You can see this is what it's going to look like. Prior to installing this, if you notice in the new bracket, um, this goes into there. And this was supposed to go uh, at this location, but since we've got the, uh, the new double, this is going to have to be moved over to this location. Now we need to remove this headlight adjuster from this location over to this location. Now we, uh, we need to get the screw out and it's very easy to do. Spray a little lube on here, WD-40 or something or other will make this very easy. Then simply get your fulcrum, a pair of some kind of pliers, get it right up underneath here and just simply pull and you got it. I'm going to try and pry this out uh, using my chisel around this little plastic cover. And the lube will kind of help facilitate this. So just kind of squeeze and pull and you see it's already starting to go out one side and bam there you go you simply stick it into the other the lube is going to help out a lot and then simply uh, take and push in and there we go then there's plenty of lube so you just stick this in give her a little tap <clears throat> and she's back in position now we have another step this is the original bracket uh, for the original headlight and there's a uh, rubber mount that we need to take loose and put in here and there it's going to go in there once you get this out uh, you can simply pull the rubber grommet off of the washer is a special washer headlights like this squeeze it like that get one edge hooked over and in then with your finger and squeezing it will just go right in until it's finally seated on both sides put this in from the top And there you go. We're ready to push it in place, have both of these uh, positioned like this and lined up. And both of them lined up so they're pointing in and have the uh, washer in the center, the mounting on top of the um, mount down below, right down in there. Make sure it's on top and not below. And then just simply push and push I need to take the 10 millimeter bolt and stick right down in there into that little uh, mount for the headlight get her started so we need to find the screw slot give her a good turn and now we're set it's best to plug this in first come up underneath here and line up and connect these together carefully and making sure you got them lined and then push until it snaps then you take the original and plug it in both are lined up connected this is one other issue that uh, you're going to need to deal with uh, in that the kit does not come with a uh, a new reflector and it's required by the dot and this is a nice looking reflector and you can uh, detach it from here and move it to there uh, with the, the aid of a hair dryer as you're heating up the back of this and it's getting hot go around you'll find some edge that you can get this behind the adhesive 
and the uh, cover mount. That's the way you want to get it. Like right in here. See? And it's a slow process. You don't rush it too hard. Once off, you're going to want to heat this up good. And then we're going to stick it back on there, making sure you got the right edges and all that uh, set up. So, and uh, it's going to work. All right, here we go. You got to get it the correct way. There's only one way. And there it is. So that's the way you do it. Okay, to make this easy for you, you watch this. It's a puzzle and uh, you have to do it a certain way or you're not going to get this thing in there, okay? So watch carefully. Right here, you stick this thing up underneath there and kind of push and get it up in there like that. Have your T25 uh, bit ready to go when you need it and you simply line this up and you're gonna have to get this screw started by hand. Find the hold and simply turn it by hand a couple of times. I simply put my bit in there and it's going in now the other place I'm gonna get is right up underneath there T40 connection <clears throat> and I got my T40 bit and I put her in there in the this really helps to have the extended range hood hinge to make this job a lot easier. I'm able to get right in here, so you may want to invest in this. Save the, la uh, the easiest for last. There's the um, 40 uh, T-bit uh, torque screw and I'm going right in perfect. So I'm going to make her tight. Okay, the last step in our installation process is to align this space right here uh, so that the headlights appear in the center of the uh, cover. So in order to do that, we use a T15 uh, torque bit and uh, there's the adjustment screws on both of these white adjusters. Turn in the clockwise position will raise the headlights. And you have to do both uh, equally. And uh, so give, uh, since I have so much space here, I'm going to give four or five turns to get this up more. And then I'll give the other side uh, more turns. So we're just going to turn this up. And then we go over and do the same number over in the other side. And you will see that I'm going clockwise. And notice how they're aligning better. You're going to have to go and do a headlight alignment. Uh, to get the headlights properly adjusted. Uh, they may have to go up or down from this location, but uh, it won't be too much, uh, so uh, it'll still look good in the opening. The adjustment procedure is found in the user manual. Now we're showing the driver's side the same adjustments an installation procedure will be needed uh, on the passenger side. 